Melody. Hey guys, Ritzy Roy here. Now that with that intro out the way, I want to go over what Sigma's abilities do in more depth because that was just a nice little highlight that showed you the character overall. But here I want to show you individually why Sigma is so good in White Shipboard. So starting off first, the thing you want to do the most with him over any other tank is push this shield out. Because one of your biggest aspects or your most unique qualities is that your shield doesn't just attach to you. This thing can move. And pretend that this Sigma up here is a sniper, boom, shield blocked off. Besides that, Sigma shield has many um, different things you can do with it. One of the main things that are also really powerful with it is you can stand in front of shots or put your shield where you don't want it to be at. So that's that's shield. It's a really simple ability. It can move around. Imagine like Reinhardt shield, except you can put it in other places. Second ability is our bootleg defense matrix accretion, I think it's called, or absorption. This ability is broken because just like Diva's defense matrix, you can block any incoming damage tick and take no damage yourself. This is super broken if there was like a, let me spawn it real quick. If there's a fairy up here and imagine this fairy is like, justice rain from above, right, right? So she does this. If I'm standing, let, let me let this run out. If I'm standing right here, I can just absorb all that, take no damage, and I'll get some extra health down there, which is really broken. So that's that ability. And lastly, I'm not gonna do a hitter with this, but you have rock. This is your stun. It won't always hit people off the map like that per se, but the main strength from stun, well, there's, there's two powerful things you can do with it. I don't want to test on Tracer. You're very squishy. You're very, very squishy. So I need to test on someone who's a little beefier. Let's try, uh, let's do, let's do McCree. McCree's like 225 health. That's good. So on most 200 health targets, McCree is 225, but I just wanted to like really show off the combo. You can get this nutty one-shot kill combo with um, rock which is rock shoot melee so if you're in a 1v1 with any squishy if you hit rock you can just instantly kill him mccree has 225 health so you have to mix in the melee but a 200 health target you just do boom bang bang and they're just dead bada bing bada boom they're dead that's one of the terms of rock that's like the easiest way to use rock. Now, the most complicated way you can use it is if you see someone ulting, you can stun and out of it. Um, if someone's diving your supports, like this, imagine this dancing Sigma again. He, he's my boy right here. Imagine this dancing Sigma as a Winston and he's jumping in on me like here. If I can predict his jump, I can just be like, you know what? I don't want you to dive me. Boom, rock, you're out of the way. Okay, with abilities over, let's talk about primary fire. Sigma's primary fire is a splash damage projectile like this. The main thing about this is that depending on how far away you are, it will explode in midair. It has a sweet spot of about 10 range. Can I get out the basement now? No, you never can. Sorry. He's my test dummy. I used him for footage. But anyways, so this detonates in the air. It's about a, not 10, sorry. It's about a, let's see, 40. We'll say this is for you. It's about 20 meters. About 20 meters is your sweet spot where this detonates. Now, find on every map, you want to find LOSs where you can get this thing to detonate. Uh, let's use my test dummy again. It detonates at this exact distance here. So, if I was pushing choke, let's say, um, let's say this is like a choke and I came from here, I would want to push out here and I get line of sight of him. Boom, boom, explodes. Hits him and all of his teammates and pulls them down. Really, really broken. Now, if you can't get that um, that 10, that 20 meter line of sight, you want to go for direct impacts. These things do a lot of damage, as you can see, but you have to lead them. And let's say if you can't get direct impacts, it's like a tracer or something, but they're not like real far, but they're not real close. You want to do this really basic tech for Sigma, where you use the geometry to shorten the distance of your um, explosion. 
the easiest way to do it the beginner way is just hold on let me move back you just shoot your orbs down a little bit and the explosion as you can see occurs a little bit closer depending on how far someone is determine the angle you want to shoot it at you can also do crazy things like shooting it like on a slope like this and letting it bounce i can't really go too in depth with this because you just gotta get creative but yeah that's orbs finally sigma's ultimate this is my favorite part about him you fly into the air you scream you can pick up like the entire team and it will immediately do about 50 percent of their maximum hp while they're in this state let me get ultimate again bang bang so while they're in this state you can shoot them and most 200 help targets with one volley of nades they just die which is kind of broken so usually ultimate you're going to secure a kill if you can't secure a kill then you can use this ultimate um to just stop a push or something like that get in the habit of every time you pop his ultimate i pop it and i get behind cover because you can get stunned out of it and it will be canceled so there you go basic rundown of sigma um tune in probably tomorrow for some quick sigma gameplay just to show what i'm talking about that'll probably be a follow-up video to this little guy and there you go please pick up this character i do not see enough people playing sigma and he is awesome like i need to see more people playing sigma this is Ritzy Roy signing out.